today we're making our way from Bath Baldwin to Ilfracombe. Nice easy 80k drive. Really pretty country. We decided to stay in Ilfracombe rather than Longreach. Everyone says it's really lovely so we'll do that and drive into Longreach tomorrow. Arriving in Ilfracombe, hub of the west. There's the van park on the left there. With a big truck. Check that out boys. How's that for a sign? So we're staying at Ilfracombe Caravan Park tonight. Just coming off the highway there. Can't miss the entrance. Australia's first motor home. Above the gate. With an outside toilet. Awesome. Go and have a look where we're camped. There you go. Thanks for staying. Maybe the winds, may the winds be up yet? I mean, behind you. Hurry back. They had an inch of rain here last night, so it's a little bit muddy today. Plenty of spots to camp though. We got a nice little spot up the back, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Facilities, laundry. Happy hour shed. I think that will be popular tonight. You can also go out that way to get back onto the highway. Let's have a look at that. Happy hour shed. Nice little setup. Have a go and have a look where we're camped. Showers and toilets. And we are back here.
Point One at climbing the tower. Here at Ilfracrum. Come on, up you go. Here she goes. No, go back down. So you can't get here. No, because it's a way down. It's the way up. Will she make it? Nelly there. Nelly there. Probably. Made it to the top. How do I get down? Who'd have thought it? <laughs> We're at Ilfracum here, about half hour from Longreach. We're about to walk Machinery Mile. Walking past along the road, all of all old equipment. So we're going to do the machinery mile and we're actually going to Strava it to see if it's a mile. It's what you do when you live with Jackson, you Strava everything. Ready to start. Go, lift, anchor chain. Oh, there was movement. Still on the machinery mile, Ilfracum. Okay, we've done the machinery mile at Ilfracum. We've clocked about 760 to 770 meters, going one way. Have to do the mile, I think we must have to turn around and go back. Sounds good. beautiful morning. We're headed off to the Stockman's Hall of Fame and Qantas Museum today. So we're here this morning, we've come to the Stockman's Hall of Fame at Longreach, Queensland.
Hall of Fame experience begins with a movie about the stockmen of Australia. You then proceed into the museum. Once you've explored the museum, there's plenty of time for a snack and a drink before the outdoor show by Lockie Costa. Okay, everybody, my name's Lockie Costa. Listen, we're gonna have to work together on this. If we work together, I'm sure we'll get these uh, these feet clean here, so uh, just there would be good. Good boy, there we go. All right. Now don't wriggle around. Listen, don't wriggle around. Cut it out. Just wait. There we go. All right. Now what I'm going to do is just pop you up here. Whoop, there we go. All right. Now that'll be a lot easier on my back. Uh, which foot first, mate? Okay. There we go. Good boy. Oh, boy. All right. There we go. That one's right, mate. Oh, that's looking a lot better there now. Uh, oh, he's a bit grubby, bud, isn't he? Listen, now. Uh, just give me a sec here, I'll just quickly go a brush and uh, give him a quick tidy up. With a brush, of course, they, they do love a bit of a brush on the tummy and under the arms there. Don't we all? Oh, oh not again. Oh, his back's playing up. Uh, just hang on, I'll try something here. Might be a bit easier on my back. Here we go. Give this a go. There we go. Good boy. Can't be on the ears there. Oh, sorry. So I've got to have a certain amount of trust in my horse, and he's got to have a certain amount of trust in me. Now what I like to do is test that trust out a little bit along the way. So I've got an old picnic blanket here, 
It's just an ordinary old picnic blanket, but it would be a foreign object to the horse. Now what I thought I might do is throw this over the top of Ernie and just see what sort of reaction I want to get out of him. See if he trusts me enough to land the blanket over the top of him. Now I don't want to scam a horse because horses are also a flight animal. And their natural instinct, they get a fright, is just to take off flat out. When they think they're far enough away from danger, then they'll look back to see who they're running from. So we don't want any danger, we don't take off anywhere, but I do want to see if you trust me enough to land this blanket here or this uh, foreign object as it may be over the top end. So I'll see how we go. He looks pretty relaxed, that's a good thing. Okay, mate. Ooh. Good boy. Ooh, good boy. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Good boy. Uh-oh. Oh, I can see what's going on here now. I think Ernie might have had a big night last night. <laughs> Probably down at the RSL club again. Listen, I'm really sorry about this. I'm just going to get the whip now. I'll get the whip and get him up. Oh, there we go. As soon as I mention the whip, see, up he gets. All right, we'll get him out. Ernie, 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 don't try. I know what you're doing. Ernie. Oh, no. <laughs> One of the 70 horses on a whaling ship. He said, that's how I left Australia. So that's why they called them the whalers. So there's probably a couple of reasons there, and they're probably both right as well. Now, in the Boer War, they sent over 60,000 horses away from Australia. In the First World War, over 220,000 horses left Australian shores. All good working horses, station horses. Well, where to become good Australian stock horses? Australia, and they come from them hotter sort of countries. Uh, they're tick resistant, uh, fly resistant, and the cooling system, all that loose skin underneath is the, uh, is the big uh, feature of the cooling system of the Brahmins. Well, that was very entertaining, very good show. We enjoyed our visit to the Stockman's Hall of Fame and recommend it if you're calling into Longreach. Time now to explore the Qantas Founders Museum. Keep flying, boys. frequent flyers, do you recognise any of these Qantas uniforms?
mud, glorious mud. Looks like fun. That's Winton's Main Street. Magical pure. Iodine for outside, whiskey for inside. Model T Ford. Turbo fan engine used by Qantas. Um, Rolls Royce RB211 engine. Same engine as the massive plane. Passenger ticket from Blackall to Winton in 1926. Cost seven pounds. The original Qantas hangar. This is where it all began. Qantas offices. Right out the front to Longreach Airport runway. The original Qantas hangar, Longreach, Queensland. It's your waiting seats to board a flight. Down the street at Longreach. Not what you'd expect to see. Time for some laps at Longreach Aquatic Centre.
60 kilometers from Winton. We're just going to stay in a free camp tonight because the Way Out West Festival is on. So there's no accommodation in Winton. But it's pretty dry out this way. They obviously have missed out on the rain. Just notice the difference as we're driving along. We're at Crawford's Rest Free Camp, about 45 k's from Winton. Not too bad at all. There's picnic tables, toilets over there, plenty of space, some bins for your rubbish. It's a good spot to stop. Welcome to Winton, dinosaur capital of Australia. So the Way Out West Festival is on at the moment. And everyone's camped out there at the showground. We've arrived into Winton and we've pulled up at this truck caravan car park behind the Walsing Matilda Centre. There's plenty of space for everyone. There's even a dump point, bins over there and the Walsing Matilda Centre is literally right across the road so plenty of room if you've got a big rig to park. The Walsing Matilda Centre, the first museum in the world dedicated to a song, opened on the 11th of April 1998. In the early hours of 18th of June 2015 it was destroyed by a devastating fire caused by an electrical fault. They've built a brand new building to reflect the natural landscape of the Winton Shire. August temperatures hit the 40s. It feels like invisible fists are beating down on us. We move the animals to graze at night. Winter disappearing. 
in the distance, like my hopes for rain never arrived. Water park at Winton. Part of the 25 meter pool. And it was seven dollars entry for the four of us. Pretty good. Pulled up here at the Winton Wanderers. Unpowered sites out the back there. They've put a lot of work into it to set it up. Powered sites, drive through sites. This is us here.
Each site has power and water, concrete slab, and they've got gardens coming. The Way Out West Festival people, they're all packed in there like sardines, but I bet they're having a good time. Tent City over there. Otherwise the town's pretty quiet. We thought it'd be really busy, but it's not. Dinosaur Drive, the age of dinosaurs, Winton, Australia. So we just turned off the highway and it's about 11 kilometers along this road, up that mountain to the Dinosaur Centre. I'm not sure if you can see the building up there on the hill. And then the road up is just over there on the left. It's called the Jump Up. For anyone wondering what the Jump Up's like, up to the age of dinosaurs, we took our truck and caravan up, but you can opt to leave your unhitch and leave your caravan down the bottom if you want to. But it was fine, we had no troubles. It is steep in a few bits, but when you get to the top, the views are spectacular.
short 500 metre walk to the first laboratory tour at the Australian Age of Dinosaurs. Pretty spectacular view along the walk. Tour number one, Fossil Preparation Laboratory. In this section of the tour they explain how they dig up the dinosaurs, excavate them and then wrap them and store them for uncovering later on. They dig around the dinosaur, wrap it in foil, then paper, then hard cast like these ones on the shelves. This is the workshop where they actually use fine tools to scrape away the dirt to reveal the dinosaur bones. After the lab we head to the collection room where they have a number of dinosaur bones and a presentation on how they would have fit together to form a whole dinosaur. We then boarded the shuttle buses to head towards Dinosaur Canyon. the process of building two new large exhibits, a nighttime exhibit and another dinosaur museum. They are set to open in May and August of this year, 2021.
here at the musical fence in Winton. Told the boys to go and make some noise. Behind a rock, because Jackson didn't want me to film him. 